winter camping. Gotta love it. Start right here. Put one right here on the corner. All right, try packing that one. Put another one on top of there if you can. Oh yeah. Oh, you cracked it. This will make our doorway wider. Snow from somewhere. Huh? Really good. Really good. Right up here. Goes too deep. Sometimes. I'll be a better heat barrier. The heat reflector in me. Yeah. As long as the bricks are strong enough. I'm gonna pick it up and have somebody slide it off. Oh, bad! Do the second layer. Do some here. Put one there. Oh, it was bad. Nice. Yeah, we just set up this tarp like about 20 seconds ago. It's already covered in snow. Wow, it's just becoming more and more. Look at that. Oh, we should really sweep that off. Because as soon as it's swept off, it gets...
Not bad. Almost finished with the snow wall. Tent will be set up right there. And we'll have a nice wall around it. Hopefully to reflect some heat back at the tent. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's pointless. <laughs> Everything I just swept is already back. Yep. Upgrade. Other way. Do the middle section first. Is this one right right here or not? I don't know. Oh, it's filling with snow. This is the wrong one. Going your way. I got pulled out of my head. Alright, pull. Okay, you're good. Alright, so this is for the end. This is it. This one's got <laughs> You're showing up the snow, you think? I know, we gotta get this covered with the rain fly. Alright, here we go. Keep going. Good. Keep going. Now take it. Lock it in place. You good? You're good. That's you. It's called luxury, Dad. Alright, where's that one I just talked? It's the summer tent, not a winter tent. You use what you got. Whee! That's what. You remember which things he's going, Micah? Yeah. The one's closer to the end. Last brick! There it is. Three, two, one. <laughs> you want to try it? My hands are frozen. It does not want to come out of there. One. Perfect. Yeah. Take you guys along the side. Yeah. Sweep it out. There it is. Then the tent's almost set up. Gonna hold the oh, I start staking it. I'll put this board full in. That looks awesome. Is it pulled over the tarp on your side? <laughs> Rain fly on. Constant build up. Snowball maker. Last one. Alright, we gotta get that fly on. Yeah, grab that out. Just look at the scene. Check it out. I'm gonna hit off the snow. Oh yeah. We're full of snow in here.
Hershey Kisses back around Christmas that disappeared overnight. Looks like Micah just found it. Did those all dump out of that cot? Yep. Look Unless at, somebody played a oh. joke on us and they've never told us. I don't think so. Mom never said anything like that. That's interesting. Wow. Well, the mystery... Well, now we know where they are. We don't know how they got there. <laughs> just <laughs> green it! <laughs> what? Look at them all. Sure, Micah, you stole all those Hershey kisses. No. <laughs> Guys, come on. Don't do me like that. I didn't do that. Why would I ever do such a thing? Come on. Uh. I wasn't that hungry on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious, actually. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Woo! I don't think I'd eat them because I don't know how they got in there. I still think a critter might have put them in there. Yeah, I wonder what kind of critter that. Careful going in the tent. Too slick. Micah had a stash. Wait, before you come in here, I remember when we ate all the chocolates in this thing on Christmas. What? <laughs> what? Ah. How did you get in here? <laughs> no. How? That means something was in this tent? No. It was in his. <laughs> <laughs> somebody stick those in there? That's what we don't know if somebody tried pranking him. Like That makes sense. <laughs> Wow, it smells like chocolate. Wow. I wonder if a mouse put him in there. That's what we don't know. Nick thinks he figured out the mystery. So look at these, like, this chocolate right here. That one looks like it was eaten by, like, a mouse or something. So I think it was a mouse stash. <laughs> well, we're going to be cooking some dinner here in a little bit. Uh, we're going to cook up some beef enchiladas over the fire. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Can't wait to share that with you. And uh, after, the, after that, we'll be sure to show you inside our tent here. The boys are getting it all set up. Be a little different tonight. It's a larger tent than the last video we did. That was a bit of work. We got the castle walls all built up and we got the tent all set up. The boys set up inside the tent. We'll show you that later. But right now we are going to cook up those beef enchiladas that we talked about. Put in a little olive oil. Good. I think it's ready, yeah. Right. Some sour cream, some cheese, some oregano, some parsley, and some black pepper. And I think there's something else in here too. This is gonna be delicious. I'm gonna get into the fire pit here. That looks good. Enchilada sauce, the chili powder and salt. We'll put the recipe down below in the description in case anybody wants to try this. I think the fire is a little hot on this one side. That smells really good. Can't wait to sink my teeth into that. Oh. All right. I guess next we got to build these enchiladas. Yeah, I should probably close the ends. beans and olives.
So we prepared everything for this recipe before coming out here. So we're just going to kind of layer these up in the pan. We'll put the recipe down in the description below in case you guys want to give this a try. There we go. I guess something like that. Just sprinkle these on top. Spread that out a little bit. Look at that yummy cheese on there. Black olives, beans, and nice cheese. We'll cover the, the lid on it. We'll set this on these hot coals. That's really good. How's that taste? That's really good. That's delicious. Wow. Yep. Those are going to hit the spot after working out here, building this fortress, getting the tent set up, shoveling this area out. Nope, not melted. This is not good yet. Check to see if the cheese is melted. Ooh, look at that. That on a cold day is hard to beat. Oh, that smells so good. Now we can eat it. Another plate. This and that. All right, cool. Can't wait to sink our teeth into this delicious, yummy food. Thank you, Lord, for our good food. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> that is really good. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. After dinner, we'll take you into the tent, show you how it's set up. If you watched our last video, you will see we had a much smaller tent. We decided to try a larger tent. So now we've got a couple cots in there. But we'll show you everything in a second. First, we got to get through our dinner here. Can't beat food that's cooked over a fire. Mm -hmm. I could want some more. This stuff's good. Mm -hmm. you want some more, Nick? Sure. Ooh. Sitting right next to this warm fire is quite nice. I think you would chop it too. Yep, I think so too. You can just load the bulk if you want. Okay. Probably will be easier. Well, all three. Really, <laughs> really good. Uh oh. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Look. Whoa, look at that. Those are so good. Uh, Especially on a cold day like today. inside guys this is our tent my bed dad's bed Nick's bed carpet hey guys welcome to the inside of our tent I don't know what's wrong with us but we're gonna try camping out here tonight 
25 degrees outside right now and I'm not sure if this thing is settled on the temperature correctly but it says it's 49 degrees in here you probably can't, can't see it that 49 is us so what do we got in here we got a battery pack making the light we got a Nick over there Nick playing video games Good go. <laughs> we got our porta buddy the porta buddy what's we'll off a nice amount of heat put our porta buddy on a piece of plywood keeps it steady we'll see how well this thing heats up in here carbon monoxide detector so a little bit about this tent it's not really a winter camping tent it's uh well nick can probably tell you more about it it's his tent but it's more of a summer tent like a good family size tent mm -hmm. um, supposedly a 10 person tent it's better if three. it's a little warmer <laughs> up here so i don't know maybe we should have hung a hammock in here my feet are cold but my face is warm I wonder why heat rises. Let's see what it says now. Maybe it says warm as it's gonna get in here. Was it? It's supposed to think it down to what? 10 degrees? 24 out there and 49 in here. We want to say thank you to all of our recent subscribers. I know if you look, it's not a lot. We've almost hit 200. We really appreciate all of you guys following the channel. It means a lot to us. We're not really sure, you know, where we're going with everything, but I don't consider us pros at what we do either. We just like camping, kind of like winter. Might as well make the best of it, right? We like making YouTube videos. Kind of combine all those and this is what you get. Adventure Awakes is our channel. We'll probably do more adventures this summer involving camping, maybe a little bit of traveling, find some cool places to visit. But we can't do it without you guys. Tell us what you want to see too. We'll see if we're interested and if we can make that happen. If you think of a cool place we could camp, something you'd like to see different in our videos, let us know in the comments below. If you like what you've seen, subscribe. The other tent that we used in our last video, check it out if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, camping in a winter storm, something, 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 family adventure. I don't remember the title, but look at our channel and you can watch that one too. Um, we were in a much smaller tent and we were much closer together. It was tight um, and it was cold, but uh, this one, this one feels homier, feels a little roomier. And again, we, I mentioned we had the buddy heater this time um, so it's making it a little warmer but the downside with this tent is it's not a winter tent it's not a hot tent it's more of a family summer tent for camping probably a three season maybe spring summer fall sort of thing it's very well ventilated so the rain flap helps because the heat will go hit the rain flap and kind of work its way back down but the only other problem is is when the wind blows the cold air comes up and we get a little bit of a draft coming in here so buddy is gonna have to work extra hard right now oh we did bring out a carbon monoxide detector too just to be on the safe side we got these cool cots to sleep on this time last time we were on the floor and uh, I don't know I don't think we said it in the video but the water it was so when we set up our tent in the last video, it was raining a lot. And, uh, and then it turned to snow overnight. And the wind was blowing. And uh, anyways, the water kind of came up through the floor a little bit. And we got a little damp by morning. I slept morning. in a pool. I guess my head, I took, picked up my sleeping bag. And underneath my wool blanket that was under my sleeping bag, there's a pool of water. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. So that was our experience last time. And... We uh, were a little chilled, but so this time we decided. I got the okay. high ground, so I wasn't cold. Yeah. Uh, so in this tent, though, it's roomier. We have these nice cots, so no sleeping on the cold ground. We have uh, these insulated sleeping bags. What are these rated for? Do you remember? Yeah, they can go down to zero degrees. The best temperature for sleeping in is 
20 to 60. Okay, so we're But gonna, they can go down to zero. So we're going to put them in for a test tonight because we're right in that 20 range. We'll be, tonight we'll, it should get down to 10. It's still 23 out right now. Um, are they saying it's going to get down to 10? Yeah. So we're going to put these things to the test. Well, it's been a, a good day. Uh, building a snow fortress, setting up a tent, cooking over the campfire. Hope you've enjoyed it so far. So we're going to hit the hay. Um, we'll shut Porta Buddy off here in a minute. And uh, I don't think it's too safe to leave it on while we're sleeping. So, uh, but before we hit the hay, one more thing. 23 degrees outside still. 51 in here. It's now 11.33. So... Temperature has been holding steady outside and in here staying about the same. We're gonna hit the hay. Good night, and we will see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Well, we'll get up shortly and uh, probably get the fire going in a little bit, cook some breakfast. And we got a couple things planned for today, but not a whole lot of stuff probably. So, but anyways, uh, anyways, yeah, maybe we'll make some sugar on snow later. We'll see you shortly. set this aside then we're going to cook up some scrambled eggs time to make some sugar on snow We want to lift it off. it off. Yep. It's hard to know. I don't know when. I'll let it go a bit longer. You may want to lift that. Yeah, I know. I just got to move so I can sit down. Yeah, that's looking really thick. I think it's done. It's starting to get really thick. Oh yeah. Those sit on there for a little bit. Just pour it right on there. Proper way to make it. He makes drips, is what you should do. Chaos. But, yeah. This might not be perfect, but. We're professionals, just to tell you. The monsters know how to do it. Whoa. Look at that yummy treat. <laughs> I think it could have gone just a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to say. It's like it is kind of gooey. Look at that. Maybe a little bit longer, but who really cares? We don't have a candy thermometer out here, so we just kind of guess. That is really good. It's. I think it could have gone a little longer because you can see it didn't quite. We need dill pickles now. It didn't quite harden as much as it does. It should be kind of like a taffy. That's good. 
Mm -hmm. I almost prefer it when it's not as chewy, to be honest. It's almost. Oh, there's a piece. Look at Nick's there. Oops. Oh, there goes mine. No, I only stuck them on the ends and right here and in the rope. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like uh, videos like this, why don't you consider subscribing? Hit the like button and um, maybe post a comment below. Um, we try to post a new video maybe once a week right now. Sometimes it goes a little longer. We had a lot of fun building the fortress, setting up the tent, which is now down, cooking over the campfire, and thank you for coming along with us. I hope you have a great week.